eye on our Earth, our oceans. We go along for an exclusive training mission with the U.S. Coast Guard, the women and men who protect people on the ocean. They save lives every day and risk their lives in the training, as WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff saw firsthand. When the call goes out, the U.S. Coast Guard is ready for whatever comes their way. And scenes like this wouldn't be possible without thousands of hours of training. Today, we're tagging along with the U.S. Coast Guard out of Cape Cod Canal, one of 30 small boat stations in the Northeast, from Maine to New Jersey. Their area of responsibility covers the southern part of Cape Cod Bay, into the canal and over to Buzzards Bay. Various training evolutions take place about 180 days a year. These on-the-water dry runs prepare the crew for anything, from routine calls to the unexpected. Always ready to go at no matter a given point, no matter what time in the middle of the night, no matter the weather, no matter the consequences, we're ready to go out and save someone. It's not just the water that we have to practice on, it's also in the air. Um, we're going to have quite a bit of uh, training today. We've got uh, swimmer work primarily, but we'd like to do a couple of baskets with you to warm up. It's good for us, the ones that are on the water, to work with the ones that are in the air. Where the Coast Guard Cape Cod Canal has about 520 square miles to cover, the MH-60 Jayhawk helicopters out of Air Station Cape Cod cover about 90,000 square miles. Sometimes we have what you'd call, uh, or I guess what you could call a textbook mission, and there are other times, you know, your, your, your best training day may not have prepared you for what you're about to face. Though today's conditions are perfect, blue skies and sunshine, we typically go out in some pretty awful conditions. We'll fly in 50, 60 knot winds, um, you know, sea states, uh, 30, 40 feet, uh, conditions that you would never really find yourself in uh, unless you had a reason to be there. The air crew runs through multiple drills, first dropping and retrieving the rescue basket. Then they recover the floating dummy. Signing up to be a rescue swimmer is a calling largely considered to be one of the toughest jobs in the service with a dropout rate of about 70%. Rescue swimmer training never really stops. You're always learning. Plus, you have to be just a bit crazy. Heck, it's just a lot of fun jumping out of a helicopter into some little rollers out there. Despite the rigorous preparation, each mission's success is never guaranteed. While not every outcome is perfect or not every outcome is, is necessarily a good one, it's just for that one time that it is that, that makes it all worthwhile. All we can really do is give it the best that we can. So if you're in the water or setting sail, know the Coast Guard is standing by, geared up and eager to help. That's you know, part of our motto, Semper Paratus, just always ready. Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.